Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the webinar about the uh, Bachelor Completion Program uh, for Biological Sciences at SCU. Uh, my name is Reza Mirbaluki. I'm the chair of the Department of Undergraduate Studies, um, and I oversee the Bachelor of Science uh, uh, in Biological Sciences program. Um, thank you for your time. Um, I would like to use this time and uh, talk to you about our program, uh, give you a brief about the curriculum, what courses you are going to go through, how does it look like to be here um, for, for two years, mostly during the weekends. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate you for taking the first step to a degree completion. So usually the first steps are really difficult to take, but um, at the end of these two years, you will be happy that you accomplished uh, something which works for the rest of your life. So the picture that you see on this um, slide is um, of the first cohort that we have. It's a kind of their, their graduation ceremony. And most of these students, they are either in a graduate school um, or they have promoted, got promoted in their uh, jobs. So a little bit about this program. Um, to get a bachelor, you need to have 128 credits uh, uh, units. Um, to be able to enter to this uh, BSBS or Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences program, you need to have 56 transferable credits. Um, comes from community colleges, other universities, mostly general education courses. And 72 credits you're gonna take here uh, through taking 18 courses over two years and six terms. So our classes for the BSBS, they will be um, Fridays and Saturdays, which I'm gonna explain. So it looks like there's a lot of work. You will study a lot of books as you see here, but there will be days that you are happy. There will be days that you're sad. There will be days that you have final, so you don't know what to do. Um, so there are lots of ups and downs. Um, each course, our trimesters are each 15 weeks. And in one 15 weeks, we divided them to three blocks. Each block is five weeks. And in every five weeks, you just have one course. So you're going to go over one course per five weeks. So there will be three courses per trimesters. Um, each course, most of the courses, not all of them, they contain lab section and the lecture section. So one unit will be the lab and three units will be the lecture. The labs uh, will be on Friday nights from 5 to 10 p.m. And the lectures will be from 9 to 6, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturdays uh, with about one hour uh, lunchtime in, the, in between. So about eight hours of uh, being in the class. As I said, there will be three courses in every trimester. And then because you need to have to pass 18 courses, it takes six trimesters, which is about two years um, completing the bachelor program. Um, assuming that you don't have, uh, you don't drop or you don't get any leave in the middle of any of these terms. So trimester one, we start with two courses of Human Biology 1 and Human Biology 2. So when you want to transfer your credits to SCU for Bachelor of Science program, I would recommend that you have a general biology course to transfer and also for admission and also um, college algebra for two reasons. For general biology, the reason I say that, there are some students that don't, they don't have any biology background. And if you don't have any biology background and you wanna start with human biology, you may struggle from the beginning. So if you have general biology one, you get your feet wet in, in biological sciences, it will be easier and you guarantee your success in human biology courses. So human biology one and human biology two, they're basically, um, an introductory to the upper level courses in biological sciences. So you will get to know the human body from the beginning, a little bit of embryology, going to all the organ systems, 
um, in the body. After passing these two, you go, you're going to start anatomy and physiology, and there will be two of them, anatomy and physiology one and anatomy and physiology two. So anatomy and physiology one uh, is offered in term one or trimester one, as you see here, which is um, general about the body, the tissue, and some of the organ system. The AMP2, which is offered in trimester two, will be more specifically about the organ system, the nervous system, cardiovascular system, endocrine system, respiratory system, they're all reviewed in anatomy physiology too. After AMP1 and AMP2, you're gonna have microbiology, which some students say that it's the hardest biology course. And I think it's because there are lots of terminologies, lots of uh, bacterial and viruses names that might uh, be a little bit difficult to practice and go through it. It's kind of a new language. Um, so that will be the microbiology. You learn about viruses. Um, today I was going to show you some videos, um, but we have some technical issues here so you can hear the sounds. So I'm gonna talk about some of these videos, the images that you see, these are the um, screenshot of those videos. So for example, for viruses, what you will learn in this microbiology um, is about how the bacteria and viruses, they change the human nature. There is um, um, a hypothesis or, or a theory about that we are made of viruses. So how the human genome changed by invasion of the viruses to our body from the beginning, even at the level of sperm or um, egg, and they can change the DNA of, of um, a cell or zygote, so it can change your future. So it is really interesting. If you are interested, you can go on YouTube and uh, check a, a documentary on this. The name is Evolution of the Viruses. It's a 40 minutes video you can watch. It's gonna change um, your mind about your body, about biological sciences, and about this work. After microbiology done, most of the um, introductory biological courses, they are done in terms of the knowledge. They are still upper level, but you get the knowledge of the biology here. Then you move on to physics series. So physics one is offered at the end of trimester two, block three of trimester two, which is more about mechanics, biomechanics, about pressure. Um, and then after that, you go to physics two, which is more electromagnetism and thermodynamics, um, which they are all health related. And both physics one and physics two, they are algebra based. So that's why you need to have algebra courses before that. Otherwise, before you join SCU, otherwise you're gonna struggle um, in, in these two physics classes. After physics, you move on to the chemistry series. So you start with general chemistry one and general chemistry two, going through the basics of, of uh, chemistry. And after that, you move on to the organic chemistry, still two sessions, organic chemistry one and organic chemistry two in trimester four, which um, includes a more related uh, topics to the body. Steel is not biochemistry, but it's closer to the biochemistry. So it's kind of a, a gateway to learn biochemistry, which will be offered in the last block of trimester four. Um, and in biochemistry, basically, if you learn biochemistry at a, at a chemistry level, you will know a lot of physiology, a lot of cell biology of the, of the human body. Um, I believe that we are all um, a chemistry lab, a walking chemistry lab. So everything that you do, it's related to chemistry. You may feel that you're happy today, that's a chemistry. Um, someone can inject you with some chemical agent and make you happy. If you think that you are sad and depressed, that's because of chemistry. Someone can inject you with something that you feel very depressed. So these are all chemical reaction that is happening 
at this moment in your body. And you're gonna learn most of these biochemical reaction to understand how your body works. In trimester five, you move to a course which is called integrative health, alternative medicine, and complementary medicine. This is a very good opportunity for students to try different professions, massage therapy, uh, chiropractic, uh, physician assistant program, um, Ayurvedic medicine, and uh, acupuncture, and so many other professions that they are all part of these um, complementary medicine or integrative health. Because this is the mission of DSCU, we have this course in our undergraduate program to promote this integrative health medicine, even at the level of, of, of the undergraduate studies. So it's a very, very fun and nice course to learn all those techniques, all different views, and have like a holistic view on human body. So it will prepare you to be open mind to different ways of treating um, patients when you get to graduate school. After that, there will be human genetics, which is always fascinating. So you know how the DNA works, how the inheritance work. So even like at the level of, even if you don't go to grad school, let's say that one of your friends who knows that you're taking a biology uh, degree, come and ask you that, hey, um, my eyes are brown, my wife's eye is brown, but we got, uh, we got a kid who has blue eyes. So is that possible? What's going on here? And if you take these human genetics class, you can explain to them, yes, that's possible. And you can explain how this is possible, which makes it really interesting. So you can save lives even as a graduate, uh, as an undergraduate student without even practicing. So good by just having the knowledge. After human genetics, you move on to biological psychology. So some people think that everything that we do, it's all, it's all about brain. So brain tells you what to do. Brain tells the rest of the body how to work and how to react. And brain is the trickiest organ of our body. So in biological psychology, you are going to learn about uh, the relationship between the biology, at the level of the cell biology, biochemistry, all those chemical agents that we have, hormones that we have in our body, and their effect on our behavior. So how a behavior, it could be a disorder, it could be a disease, or it could be a normal behavior. How these behaviors, they will be, um, they are defined, or we can explain these behaviors using uh, biological equations. So it's, it's a very fun course to go through biological psychology at the end of term five. So when you get to trimester six, this is the time that you actually go through uh, producing something because now you have already learned the biological aspect, the physics aspect, the chemical aspect um, had a little bit of genetics, psychology, and different professions. So now you have the knowledge from different points of view. So you're gonna go through three courses that they are all related and prepare you to produce. It's time for you to produce something which is your capstone. So you're gonna write a capstone at the end of these two years. So uh, the first block of trimester six, you're going through a, a course, which is a research in evidence-based healthcare um, system. And in this course, you're going to learn about um, statistical analysis, how to review um, scientific articles, how to find them, how to write in APA format. So prepare you or give you uh, tools that you can actually write your capstone. In the second block, Integrative Health Field Practicum, you actually uh, go and observe different professions. At the end of five weeks of observing professions, you need to write a report. 
which needs to um, um, have all those requirements for a research article. So it should be written in an APA format. And then you actually uh, go deep in your observation and you talk about the patients that you observed in that clinic. It could be any profession which is health related. Um, all those patients that you um, have visited or observed, uh, the plan that the um, medical team in that clinic, they had to treat that patient and then discuss why that plan worked or if you think another plan should have been in place, what are those plans? So it's a very interactive course for you to kind of get a sense of real life after you go to graduate school or you become a practitioner and want to practice in clinic. And the last course of this um, bachelor completion program is integrative healthcare, uh, integrative health capstone. Um, so this is a project which is basically, you are gonna write a review article reviewing um, all um, the, um, the topics that you are interested which is related to the biological sciences. You can criticize different articles from chemistry point of view, from biological point of view. Uh, you can work on the physics portion, let's say that hypertension about blood pressure. How can you discuss the physics related issues in someone who has hypertension? So there are so many things, microbiology, um, and we have had students that they wrote really interesting review articles, uh, which you can actually um, uh, drive new hypothesis out of that review article. So you create something new with no one, which no one has not um, thought about that idea because they did not go through um, those information in depth. So here you see one of my uh, previous papers here. So usually I teach this class, but um, any of other faculty that we have here that they have taught this research, they are very qualified to guide you to actually uh, do this research. And then you can actually publish um, the research. We can support you to send for publication in scientific journals, which give you um, a, a plus point So if you have um, uh, more questions or if you need to find more information, please go to our website, um, suhs.edu, and you can click on um, academia and then check the BS in biological sciences and you will find our courses uh, that are listed there based on the date. So for fall 2018 that we are gonna get the new cohort, you can see the schedule here for you guys, if you register, you are gonna start with Human Biology 1 in Block 1 up, Fall 2018. In Block 2, you go Human Biology 2, and then AMP 1. So the order will be exactly the order that we have. In some cases that the students, they uh, register in outside of their cohort, there are other courses. These courses that you see in like Block 1, like um, Physics 2, Organic Chemistry 1, and research, these are the courses that they're also offered for the BSBS BS, BS students, but these are all from different cohorts that they are taking these classes. So in some cases, um, some students, they jump from one cohort to another cohort. Um, we recommend that you, when you start with the cohort, you finish with that cohort, you do not jump between the cohorts. It makes it more consistent and these are designed that you, each course is a prereq of the course which comes after. So there will be a continuity in the courses which guarantee you your success in each of those classes. Um, if you have any questions, you can type those questions and at the end of this session, if there are any questions, I'm gonna answer those questions. Um, but for more information, you can go over there uh, on, on our website. Also, you can send an email to admissions Uh, 
applications at scuhs.edu. I would like to talk a little bit about, at the end, what do you get? So you come here, there will be two years of hard work coming to classes during the weekend, Friday nights, all Saturdays for two years. I need to give up my social life. So what do I get at the end? So approximately your tuition fee for two years will be about 50K. But based on this graph that I have on the right, which is, um, uh, which I got it from the Brew of uh, Labor Statistics, you see that the average salary for someone who has a Bachelor of Science is 70K. So if you become a biological science teacher in a post-secondary um, school, then you may have like up to about six figure salary. By medical engineer, a little bit less, about 70 to 80,000. Biological technician, around 30 to 40,000. And the biological scientists and all other related um, professions between about 60 to 70K you can make. So even money wise, it makes sense to, to um, get your bachelor completed and get, get your degree. And this remains with you for the rest of your life. Um, one other thing which is important that we offer scholarship, there is a Dean's Scholarship, is 2,500 per term for four students uh, every term. And the students, if they uh, maintain the high quality in their GPA, in, um, uh, there are criteria on that um, um, award. So you can actually get these awards multiple times. It's not that if you get it once, then you cannot apply for the second one. Um, so this helps to bring down the cost also, we offer um, student worker um, um, jobs on campus, helping us to improve uh, or help the lab assistants, um, the faculty. Um, so you can also uh, earn some money by uh, working as a student worker and pay some part of your tuition fee. So just to give you some idea that even on the business side, it uh, fits um, your financials or finances. Okay, so I think that will be the end of my presentation for today. If there is any question, you can send an email to admissions at scuhs.edu. Thank you and have a good day.